I'm Vivian and I'm leading you through your strength and balance today. Make sure you're wearing nice comfortable clothing for you and the other thing you're going to need is a chair. A kitchen chair or your dining room chair would be ideal. Make sure that you're facing me throughout this um, so you're going to be um, sitting facing with your chair here. I'm just going to turn mine around so that you can see what we're doing. Now the first thing I want you to do is to sit down but I'm going to show you how to do that first of all. So you're going to come round to the front of your chair, stand with your feet about hip width apart and what I want you to do is feel for the, the chair with the back of your legs, with your calf muscles. Pop your hands down beside your bottom bend your knees and sit down and you'll sit right back down into that chair for me. Great. So you're in full back rest sitting right out in the chair. Now the first activity that we're going to do is for the thigh muscles, for this big muscle here. And this will be particularly helpful for walking, climbing stairs, activities like that. If you just watch me first of all, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to slide the toe out, then you're going to lift your leg up as high as comfortable for you, a little bit further if you can, a little pause there and then gently slowly bring it back down, touch the toe onto the floor and then bring it back in. I'm going to aim to do five of these on each leg, as many as you can, one, two are better than none but five if you're able to. So here we go, come with me now. So you're just going to slide your toe along the floor, lift your leg up nice and slowly a little bit higher if you can, a little bit of a pause there and then slowly bring the toe back down. Touch the floor and then bring that leg in. Now make sure when you're doing these activities that you keep breathing in and out. Slow lift up and again a wee bit higher if you can manage it. Bring it back down for me. Touch the toe and rest there. When you're lifting the foot, count to three, nice and slowly gets a little bit of a pause and then again it's slowly back down. Great stuff, doing really well there. So here we go, couple to do. Lifting up and bring it back down. So you can feel this muscle up here in the thigh. Good, last one with me now. So just take the toe out, lift the leg up, a little bit higher if you can, Bring it back down from there, bring the toe down and bring the foot in from there. So then we're moving on to the other side, the other leg. Same thing again, sitting up nice and tall, tummy tucked in and we take the foot out, lift it up nice and slowly, a little bit higher if you can manage it, bring it down from there and slide it in. Good stuff, here we go. Bring it out lifting up, breathing in and out and back down. If that's feeling okay, a few more to do. Out with the leg, sliding along the floor, lifting up slowly, bit of a pause, bring it back down and bring the foot in from there and slide the foot along the ground lifting up nice and slowly here, a little bit higher again if you can and slowly back down. Touch the foot and bring it in and slowly back out. This is the last couple here, lifting up, back down nice and slowly, doing really well and then the last one. So the foot goes out Working that thigh muscle here, back down, bring the foot in and rest there. For our next activity, we're going to be standing behind the chair. So I'm going to show you how to stand up first of all. We're going to move ourselves to the front third of the chair and to do that, we're going to hip walk. So to hip walk, just lift yourself away from the back of the seat and lift your hip bones and lift your bottom. When you get to the front third of the chair, 
bend the knees, drag your heels back a little bit, pop your hands on your thigh muscles so you can feel them working, pull your tummy muscles in, nose over your knees, push and stand up. Now as soon as you're up, start paddling the feet, so you're pedalling down and then we're going to move to the back of the chair, so you're going to walk around to the back of your chair. So again, you're going to be facing me and I'll just turn side on so you can see the activity that we're doing. So this next activity is going to work around the back of the thigh and again, we'll help you with walking and climbing stairs when you're doing this activity. So again, if you want to watch me first of all and then we'll do our repetition. So standing nice and tall, tummy tucked in, shoulders are back and down and we're going to work through the back of the leg. So we're going to take the weight onto one side, slide the toe back, slowly lift the heel as high as comfortable for you towards your bottom, back down, touches the ground, and then comes back in to resting position. So again, aiming to do five of these. So starting off, good posture, here we go. So slide the foot back onto the toe, Bend your heel up towards your bottom, just as high as you can manage. Bring the toe back down and slide the foot back in. And again for me, please. Back you go. Lift the heel up as high as comfortable. Little pause and then bring it back down and then bring the foot in to that rest positioning. Just going back and bend, breathing in and out as you're doing these activities, toe touches and comes back in and moving back. Couple to do here if it feels okay for you. Nice and slowly, back down and in you come. Doing really well. Last one, here we go. Take the foot back, lifting up, Bring the toe back down and back into that resting position. And then we're ready to do the other side. So again, get yourself standing in a comfortable position. Here we go. Slide the toe back, bend your knee, lift your heel up towards your bottom. Bring it back down slowly and bring the leg back in. Again, we're thinking about that slow lift back of counting up to three get a little bit of a pause and then it comes back down nice and slowly and then back in from there. If it feels okay, you're still carrying on here, lifting up, slowly, slowly back down and then the foot comes in and rests. Here we go again, moving back, breathing in and out, trying to keep looking forwards, back down slowly and in you come. And the last one of these, take the foot back, bending the knee, a little bit of a pause, slowly, slowly back down and back in and back to that resting position. So now we're moving on to knee bends and again these are for those large muscles around the thigh again for helping with walking, climbing stairs and also for bending over perhaps to talk to a small child. I'll show you first of all what we're going to do. So with our feet hip width apart and we're holding on to keep our balance, we're going to bend the knees but keep the tummy muscles tucked in, trying to look forwards and a little bend of the knees bending about four inches if it feels okay, and then slowly back up to standing, and then rest there. So again, aiming to do five of these. So if you're ready, we're going to do them now. Bend your knees, tummy tucked in, breathing in and out, and back up to standing. 
trying to keep your knees just in the same position when you're bending. Breathing in and out. Little pods and back up to standing from there. Try and keep your shoulders relaxed whilst you're doing these ones and keep your heels firmly placed on the ground. And back up for me. Doing really well, feels okay. We've got a couple more to do here. And then that's the last one coming up now. So just bend the knees. You're imagining you're about to sit down, you've changed your mind and then you're standing back up and relax there. Now the next activity is sit to stand and that's going to really help us with getting up and out of chairs. For this one, we're going to move ourselves back to the front of the chair. So when you get round there, you're going to be feeling for the chair with the back of the leg. So if you'd like to come round now, So feel for the chair with these calf muscles, hands by your bottom, bend your knees and you sit right back down into full back rest. So this activity is from sitting into standing and back down again. So I'll show you first of all. Go to hip walk forwards to the front third of the chair, draw your heels back, pop your hands on your thighs if it's comfortable to do so, pull the tummy muscles in, bring your nodes forwards a little bit. Squeeze and push with the legs up to standing and as soon as you get there, start pedalling to get the blood circulating. Then we reach back with the hands, feel for the chair with the calf muscles, bend the knees and you sit right back down. Now we're going to do five of those again if it feels okay for you. So here we go. So it's hip walk forwards to the front third of the chair. Draw the heels back onto the ground, hands on your thighs little bit of a lean forward, squeeze the legs, push to standing and then start pedalling as soon as you get there. Reach back with the backs of the legs onto the chair, reach your hands back, bend the knees and you'll sit straight back down. Good, let's go again. So we're going to hip walk forwards to the front third of that chair, draw the heels back, hands on the thighs, tummy pulls in, just bring your nose forwards a little bit, squeeze the legs and standing up, pedalling those feet to keep the circulation going. Then feel for the back of the chair with the lower leg, hands go back and you sit right down, straight into that back rest position. Here we go again. So we're gonna hip walk forwards, the front third of the chair, draw the heels back, hands on the thighs, tummy pulled in, squeeze and push to standing and then start moving the feet. Take ourselves back, feel for the chair, hands go back, reach and sit down. Doing really well, a couple more to go here. So if you can, hip walk forwards, pull the toes back, hands on, tummy in, squeeze and reach for standing. A Little bit of pedaling and then we take ourselves back again, back into the chair, bend the knees, hands go back down. And one more to do, here we go. Hip walk forwards to the front third of the chair. Draw the heels under, hands go on, squeeze the legs, tummy pulls in, push to standing. A Little bit of pedaling to keep the circulation going. Moving back into the chair, hands go back and sit yourself right back down again and relax there. Now, we're going to get ourselves back out of this chair for calf raises, which we're going to do standing behind the chair. So again, we need to hip walk forwards to the front third of the chair, draw the heels back, hands go on the thighs, tummy pulls in, bring your nose forwards a little bit, push, squeeze the legs, and then if you could just bring yourself and walk around to the back of your chair so that you're still standing facing me. Again, I'll turn side on so that you can see what I'm doing. Now this is a calf raise and it's up onto the toes and it's ideal for strengthening the lower leg and it'll help with reaching up into cupboards, hanging out, washing, activities like that. I'll show you first of all, stand with the feet about hip width apart, holding on. 
thinking about your toes in your shoes and giving each toe a number. So your big toes are number one, number two next to it. And you're going to be thinking about toe one and toe two. As you think about toe one and toe two, lift up slowly onto your toes and the weights over toe one, toe two, and then slowly come back down again. So five more of those, if it's okay for you. Here we go. Gently lift the weight up onto the ball of the foot, a little pause, and then gently back down to rest from there. As you're doing these activities, you're breathing in and out, and keep a wee eye on your posture as well by keeping your tummy tucked in. Doing really well. Here we go again. So we're lifting up, breathing in and out, and slowly back down. A couple more to go if it's okay for you. Lift up, little pods, and back down again. And then this is the last one of these. Here we go. Always aiming for five, but just as many as comfortable for you. And back down. The next activity, we're going to be lifting up our toes and our weight's going to go back onto the heels. And again, these activities are for the muscles around the lower leg and will help with walking activities. I'll show you again. So stand up nice and tall. Again, thinking about your shoes and your toes inside your shoes and lifting up toe one and toe two. Try and keep your weight centered. Slowly lift up your toes from your shoes. Think about toe one, toe two, and then slowly back down again. Okay, so five of those, or as many as you can manage. Here we go. Breathing in and breathing out, lifting up your toes, weights back, and slowly back down again. Here again, lifting up, and gently back down. Make sure you do lift and breathing in and out at the same time. Think about lifting up toe one, toe two as you do this. Couple to go here if it feels all right for you. And last one now. So just lift up those toes, as high as comfortable, and gently back down from there. And again, relax. Okay, so in our next activity, you're going to be still facing me and I'm just going to turn around as well. And this activity is for the outside of the thighs. And these will help with activities where you're crossing your feet over, stepping to the side, perhaps stepping in and out of cars. You're going to be holding on with one hand. Again, check your posture. You've got your feet about hip width apart, shoulders are back and down. And I'll show you first of all, all we're going to do is slide the weight out with the toe and lift the leg out to the side. A small lift, a little pause, it comes back down and touches, and we centre the weight again. So again, trying for five of these. So if you're ready, take the weight over to the side, toe goes out, and we do a little lift up, just as high as comfortable for you. So a smaller movement, touches from here, and then comes back in, and relax. As with the other activities we've been doing, keep breathing in and out as you're doing them. Try and keep a wee eye on your posture as well. So we're still trying to think nice tall thoughts. Move the foot out to the side. A little slow lift up. A little pause and a slow back down again. And bring the foot in. And a couple to do here. If you're feeling all right with these, keeping going. A little bit lift up and back down and then it rests there and then we've got one more to do so just take the foot out a little push to the side brings it back down and bring the feet in now you're just going to swap legs I'm just going to turn my chair around so that you can see what I'm doing here so you're still facing me and we're ready to go hip width apart here we go. Take the foot out to the side. Small lift up. Gently back down. And then bring the feet back into that ready position. 
foot goes out, a little bit of a lift, slowly back down and bring the feet together. Just keep a little bend in that supporting leg so there's no tension in the backs of the knees. Keeping breathing in and out as you do these activities. Couple to do. Here we go. Lifting up, back down, and in together. And this is the fifth one now. Take the foot out, gently lifts up, bring it back down, and bring it into a rest from there. Now the next set of activities are some travelling activities. Now you may still want to have your chair close at hand that you can hold on to, or you may want to walk along the side of your sofa so you can keep a hand on it, or perhaps pop your hands along the wall as you walk along the corridor. I'm just going to move this chair to the side just now to show you what to do. We're doing a side step. And all we need to do for our side step is to move one foot out, take the weight across and bring the other foot in. So if you are walking along the side of your sofa, hands are on top here. Or perhaps in your kitchen, whilst you're working in your kitchen, along the kitchen bunker. For this side step, just move the foot across and bring it in. So what we're going to do is we're going to take five steps one way, have a little pause and then five steps come back the other way. And again, these are to strengthen up the muscles around here and make it easier for, easier for us to walk from side to side. So if you're ready, we're going to take it now. So just take the foot across, bring the weight across and step together. Always keeping a little gap between the feet and step across. Doing very well, bring the feet across. Couple to do here and step together. And this is the last one now and step from there. A little bit of a pause and then we're just gonna do exactly the same thing going back the way. So here we are now. Take the foot over, step them in together, keeping a little gap between the feet Close across and you keep a little gap between the feet. Step over and a little gap. Couple still to do. Here we go. And step across. And step across and bring the feet together. Our next activity, again a walking activity, is on our toes. So like we did when we were lifting up our heels, we're thinking about stepping up onto your toes and weights going over toe one and toe two in your shoes. So all I want you to do is gently lift yourself up onto your toes and then take five steps with me now. Gently pop your heels down and then turn around and go back again. So we lift up onto our toes, weight over toe one, toe two, and take a little step. And back round from there. Great stuff. We also did some toe raises and now we're going to do toe raises with walking. So exactly the same thing as we did before. You're just lifting up your toes in your shoes, thinking about lifting toe one, toe two, and then taking five steps. Popping your toes down, turn yourself around and go back the way you came. Lift your toes up in your shoes and then a walk. Toes go down and bring yourself back around from there and then relax there. 